Breaking news, oh, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smarting, they happen so. Not be smarting, no. So, na first of I say it is dumb misrepresentation to say I drag Tinubu's led government to court. Not be smarting, no. Say they drag Tinubu to court, they say they wash them. Say they food they are safe. Say because at the end of this, they go lose. He said, no, what did he talk? He said, he said, he said, he watch them. He did watch them from afar. Say, you call sit down, sit down, cut us away, say, you did, you, you carry it in to court. So, so, you can't have to court. What is it going to happen? From where to where? Court from where to where? You can't have to court. So, what happened? You can't have to court. So, what do you call gain from that? You know, what do you call gain from that? So, these are things where they go on. I would say, well, maybe we'll keep you up to speed. So more keep you up to see me, you understand what it is exactly they go on. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, you can see for yourself, see, see where see the things we don't happen before. We say we need to pay attention to the do the they, they review for all our eyes, they whether they see and for their self, say may we understand exactly what they go on now. Okay, we cannot continue with the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. It is dumb misrepresentation to say i dragged the tinubu led government to court first was Kiyamu, a nigerian lawyer and human rights activist on his official twitter handle has debunked rumor that he said he was he dragged the ashiwajo ahmed bola tinubu to court he said not dragged tinubu to court say the people talk as an ally okay the statement that the Minister of State for Labor and Employment released his on his official Twitter page said it uh, regards that read as something mischievous, the hand of those who wants to carry out fake news on social media. I have been dragged that I carried Tinubu to court. Yes, over the service chiefs without the approval of the National Assembly. I have my concerns that things should be done in a certain way however i have not taken to noble to court kayamu concluded his tweet by saying i will rather praise the comment the federal government has comply comply with the judgment in the court i instituted during the during the umaru musa administration and one during the good luck administration to effect that service chief's appointment must go through the approval of the National Assembly. I noted the compliance that the, that Tinubu's administration have not done that. He did not go through the National Assembly before he concluded. However, I did not take Tinubu to court. The statement that I took Tinubu to court is totally false, not true, and I have not taken him to court for any purpose. He concluded as saying, Omar Musa Radu administration, good luck Ibele Jonathan's administration. I saw that they did not go through the National Assembly before the, they did not go through the approval of the National Assembly as the appointed people. This is just my observation, which I pointed out. Nothing more. I did not say we must go to court or I must take them to court. I did nothing of that. So Nigerians have been saying because you know Festus Kiyamu, um, Festus Kiyamu, uh, Nobiolemo, Femi Fani Kayo D, they 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 wait for appointments. Uh, they wait for appointments. They will give the appointment, but Tinubu never give any appointment. Tinubu never give any appointment. So we they wait to see how they, they respond because uh, Kobila said they want verse. Uh, Kobila said they want verse. Say uh, they never get any appointment, so they ask to do bish bish bash bash. You know that kind of thing now. Uh, he say where he and he say you know, you know they happy. Say to you know, do ministerial whatever. He say but you know he say not they happy. Oh say Tinubu not follow the right procedure. He say but not take Tinubu to court because nine talk can come aside. He say I say Tinubu to do so they wrong. He say Tinubu never uh, discuss with the court. Before the at the appoint so this put the all the appointment where they do say so it's just acting alone as if in a one man government say so then they do like that he talk her smarter now call the CC we say they they say court case they come as I say we say no say no carry to court he say no carry to court 
say yes during the Maru Musa Radu administration. He pointed out that you know you cannot act solely without carrying you know others along. You have to carry the National Assembly along. He said Tinubu has not done that and he no quiet because good luck a Billy Jonathan time he speak. So now will be this time now he said no go say go just be quiet. He say go just be quiet. He say no go talk. Say see they talk. He say but all the same no be say he carry Tinubu to court. I will say, well, we don't yell. Uh, we don't say, when I publish that, so they lie, you know. When I lie, it's not get part two. When I lie, we don't know if they know it. When I talk through, or when I lie, so we don't know which one to believe. Or. We don't know which one to believe. Or. And I will talk one now. But for you go now, that it don't change you. So we don't know which one to believe. Or. Uh -huh. So it is what it is. So it is what it is. Anyway, my wonderful, lovely people, you know, uh, we just want to make sure, say, Everybody do on the same page. You we know, should say at the end of the day, Nigeria becomes a better place, you know, and nobody takes away that which belongs to us. You know, we just want to make sure say Nigeria become a better place for every single person. And everything we need to do make this country a better place, they within our hands. So may nobody sit down there thinking, say, you know, we go free, let this, you know, this kind of thing continue. We can't let it continue. Everything we need to make Nigeria a better place is right within our grips. It's right within our grips. So, speaking out is one of it. Praying for Nigeria is another. We must speak out and we must pray for Nigeria. Because when you say you're quiet, you there are a lot of things just they go on. You don't know what they do. No, 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 no. When you need to speak out, you need to speak out. Yeah, you can't, you can't be neither here nor there. You can't do that. No, you can't. So you are neither here nor there. You don't know where you did. Eh? What? No, you don't do that. You must rise up. You must speak. Yeah, you must speak. You must speak because the days we don't reach our hands. So now we are going to speak out and say the truth. Because uh, everybody, we know if you're just quiet. Let people say they don't, they don't reach. Uh, not get they not get matter for this alone to copy when they decide they determine which they happen to us. You can't do that. No, you can't. So now there we do. We they watch and won't see how this nation will turn. Please don't forget to pray for Nigeria. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Remember, say you say if you get voice. God bless. Eh? Not forget every one of us the important for this matter. Bye-bye.